Uh, today we have a clip of um, Candace Owens. Oh, sorry about that. I thoughts on the Confederate flag. I do not see a problem with people whose family members died fighting for that flag to be able to wave it high. It is historical, and it, the idea that your son or daughter went and marched in a war, and people are just so stupid, they think they were fighting for slavery. Those people who fought were piss poor. They never had a slave a single day in their life. They fought for the South, and their sons what? signed up, went to war, and now they're told that even having the flag or having any any pride for their dead relatives is something that is wrong and dirty and backwards and racist and associated with slavery. People are so ignorant about slavery and the numbers on slavery. I mean, the idea that everyone had slaves in the South is so stupid. It was the incredibly uber wealthy. People believing that everyone today had a yacht. I mean, it's just so, I can't, I'm just gonna stop ranting about it. The answer is people should be allowed to keep their Confederate flags and wave them because it represents an element of history. Okay, well, if we're gonna go by Candace Owens, um logic she said that you should be able to fly it because it's a part of history so i guess if my relatives that went and um if they did fought in the uh war in world war ii for nazi germany i should be able to fly a nazi flag right or what about isis what about isis what about people whose um or whose relatives they died for isis they should be able to fly an isis flag without a problem according to candace owens it's a part of history right she said it so it's okay so you can literally just fly with and do whatever you want because as long as it's a part of history it doesn't matter also every pretty much almost everything she said about the slaves was incorrect i'm not gonna go into too much of that because there's a lot of historical background surrounding that but the fact that she's saying that it was only the uber wealthy that had slaves that's not true um a significant portion a significant amount of um the slaves in the south yes but um you know uh, and she said that they Confederate flag. I do not see a problem with people they whose family members died fighting for that flag. To also, you don't. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And this is something that um, you don't. You don't die for a flag. Okay. Can we let's get this out of the way right now? Because I hear people say this all the time. You people don't die for flags. Okay. I, hope, I just want to make sure I want to make sure everyone's on the same page here. People do not die for flags. Uh, you know, it would make more sense if she was saying for uh, the, I guess, cause that the um, fighting South, according to her, was trying to achieve. But um, she, according to Candace Owens' own words and logic, um, these the Civil War. Um, the South was fighting to, for the right to, to, for their flag, I, I, to, to wave their flag, I, I don't, she said it's not about slaves and they fought for the South. I, the more that I, like, try to understand it, the more I really don't get it. Like, I thought it wasn't too incoherent at first, but. Be able to wave it high. It is historical, and it, it's the historical. idea that your son or daughter went and marched in a war, and people are just so st Okay, I, and, and I'm not, but let's say my mom and dad, uh, let's say my, 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 the people who raised me, um, you know, they uh, were part of ISIS, and they, and they died um, fighting for ISIS. So I should be able to raise an ISIS flag. According to Candace Owens, it's a part of history. My relatives, they... They died, um, you know, fighting for whatever it is, whatever cause it was. So I should be able to raise a flag. I should be able to raise a Nazi flag. I mean, obviously, you know, I don't, I don't agree with that sentiment, but that's that's what Candace Owens is saying here. Stupid. They think they were fighting for slavery. Those people who fought were piss poor. They never had a slave a single day in their life. They fought for the South. And what does that mean? They fought for the South. What does that mean? Can you explain this to me, Candace Owens, or anybody in the comments, please? Can somebody explain to me what fighting for the South, it, what that entailed, what that was? Fighting for the South. So, but what were they, what, Candace, 
if they weren't fighting for slavery and they were fighting for the South, for what were they fighting for? What were they trying to achieve? What were they trying to do? You can't just say they were fighting for the South. That, and uh, yeah, and the uh, um, the Union, they were fighting for the North. What are we? What are we? Are we fighting over uh, what? Which? What are we? Compasses? I'm. This just. Oh my God! It's. I don't even. Their sons signed Jeez. up, went to war, and now they're told that even having the flag or having any any pride for their dead relatives. Having any pride for their dead relatives? Okay, it's like I said again. I'm gonna say the ISIS thing again. Uh, you know, what's the difference, Candace? What is the difference? Because I guarantee you, I guarantee you, um, you know, if it was a question about the ISIS flag, th this would not be the answer. I guarantee fucking T that her answer would be different if the question was um, worded, um, what are your thoughts on the ISIS flag? Is something that is wrong and dirty and backwards and racist and associated with slavery. People are so ignorant about slavery and the numbers on slavery. I mean, the idea that everyone had slaves in the South is so stupid. Also, no one, I, I mean, the majority of people, at least, that I've talked to um, on this issue, I don't think everybody thinks that every single person had a slave in the South. I mean, most people don't think that. Most people I've spoken to, it doesn't seem like they think that. Um, even the people that um, are ignorant about um this time period, which sounds like Candace Owens, um, is, it's funny because she's calling people ignorant about the time period when it doesn't seem like she really knows her stuff that well, but. It was the incredibly uber wealthy, if you like people believing that everyone today had a yacht. I mean, it, it's just so, I can't, I'm just going to stop ranting about it. The answer is people should be allowed to keep their Confederate flags and wave them because it represents an element of history. That's just the worst take ever out of all the different shit she could have said. Um, it's a part of history, so she should be able to wave it. So if it was a part of history, then, um, you know, it doesn't really matter what it is, what your message is, or what you're trying to do, or what you're trying to convey. Um, as long as it was historical, it, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Um, ladies and gentlemen, Candace Owens' take on the Confederate flag. Um, if you like this video... Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button and press that little bell and turn all notifications on so you never miss an upload.